Where are you my food? This is neighbor from town. Alexa, turn the lamp on. Charlie, hey, look, man, I know I said a few weeks ago I'd come over tomorrow, but there's just been a lot going on, and uh, I'm not okay. No, I'm not okay at all. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. I promise you everything's fine. I just, I've been emotional. 
emotionally unstable and Charlie, I don't think I'm okay. No, I'm I'm all right. I'm all right. I'm 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 doing fine. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do anything stupid. I'm, I promise you that. I'm just saying. I just wanted to call it and tell you I'm coming over tomorrow. All right, tomorrow's the day. I promise you this time. All right, man. I'll see you. I'll, I'll see you. Yeah, yeah. I still have to tell you about something. Yeah, yeah. It, I'm sorry for the delay, man. I'm, I, I appreciate you being patient with me, but I'm spiraling out of control. I don't know what to do, Charlie. It's all right. It's all right. Okay. All right. Sounds good. All right. See you, man. a little bit. 
hell I want to play. Up, up, up so high. Like uh, a tree in the sky. <laughs> oh, how I wonder why you're in
Only one of us is getting out of this building. What choice is it gonna be? You want my name? <laughs> Bagu Papa, the one and only. Silence and hush the hushman. about time that I told you this. This is... This is not a pure object. By that I mean that it's... It's seen some dark, dark things. Yeah. I was... I figured that you would recognize it because where you come from, this... This made all the news. Uh, 
Do you remember the uh, Miller Road Massacre of 2018? Yeah, I remember something about it. I was, I was too busy with my own life to be dealing with any of that stuff on the news. Uh, yeah, uh, it was a, uh, yeah. Do you remember what the what the eyewitness in the news article uh, said the killer was wearing? Yeah, something about a baklava, black clothing. Didn't hear about a mask, but something about wearing all black. I heard something about that. I was small at the time, but yeah. Yeah, black clothing and a mask very much like this. Uh, turns out that same killer uh, went after me. Uh, this, look, this is really hard to talk about, but it's about time that I told you. So, the killer's name, well, he went by the name, uh, the comedy killer. That's what he became known for because of what he wore. But his real name was, uh, Lee Jeffrey Wilkes. Do you recognize that name? Yeah, 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 a little bit. Yeah, yeah I thought so, yeah. Uh, he came after me uh, because I learned too much, apparently. Yeah, I actually, uh, I listened to him murdering someone over the phone just by accident. I guess I called at the wrong time, I guess. But after that happened, the killer figured that I had to die too because I heard this and I could tell the cops. For some reason, I didn't. Probably should have, but. <sighs> yeah, um. These were some other of his things. Uh, this was his knife. He's killed a bunch of people with it. Uh, he almost killed me with this weapon as well. Uh, ever since he died, I, I just decided to keep. His name was Lee Jeffrey Wilkes, and uh, he was my brother. Yeah, so back when I was a baby. I was not born to the McClellans, I was born to the Wilkeses, and I was the youngest child. When I was still a baby, uh, my actual parents divorced, and they had uh, three sons, me and the killer Lee and his other brother Daryl Wilkes, who would go on to become Daryl Forbes. He was, a, uh, he was a popular teacher in the Jackson area. Um, when, yeah, when the parents divorced, the, uh, the parents, the father took Lee, which turned out to be a really bad decision on the father's part, and, uh, the mother, uh, took Daryl Forbes and gave him the best life possible, and, uh, they didn't have any more room for me, they couldn't keep, take care of me, so... I was given to uh, their close friend, the, four, the close friends of the McClellans, and uh, that's how I became a McClellan. But look, this is really hard for me to keep talking about it now. So I, I don't want to keep talking about it right now. Charlie, I'm beyond sorry that happened to you. And, and we don't have to keep talking about it. We can, we can end it right here. I just, I'm sorry. <laughs> Again, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. We don't, I'm sorry. Yeah, well, enough about me. Um, what was it you wanted to talk to me about? Because you wanted to talk to me like, on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, 
I have somebody held captive in my house. And before you before you say anything, I, I know this this looks really bad. This sounds really bad. But that's why I come here to explain. I didn't drive an hour for nothing. His name's Millie Lancaster. He goes by Mamba. He was one of Viper's spies. He worked for him. He was his best friend in high school and college. I got information out of him. I beat him up a couple times. I gave him a bloody nose and a black eye. Both black eyes on each side, actually. If we want to get specific, but... He's got information about my loved ones. He's got information about you. He's got information about people because when we were trying to worry about Daniel and everything, well, he was spying on us. He was spying on us everywhere we went. He knew where I lived. I don't know if he knew where you lived, but he knew where I lived, and he, he saw us hang out. And he, he saw Jonathan. He saw Bayani. I don't know if you met him yet, but he's, he saw Band Cave even. I'm scared. But I've got him in my in my house, in my playroom, held captive. I've got him in handcuffs. I haven't killed him or anything. I'm, I'm not like that. Not yet. And I hope to not be like that. But Charlie, I need your help. <laughs> Are you freaking kidding me right now? Are you freaking kidding me right now? This is, this is the kind of stuff, right? You know, I, I can't just do these these things. Like, you know what standards I have. You know I can't do that. Why do I even bother? Me like that. Thin ice, man. First time I tell you about that, you have to be too nosy about Damn it. Damn it, just listen. Just listen. Look. Let me explain to you something. Alright? This is Viper's weapon. This is what he used to kill Eric. He's, he punctured Eric. Eric had to shoot himself. I watched my best friend die. I know what, I know what pain is. Alright? So don't you be walking away from me like that. I've had plenty of friends walk away on me like that. So you, you could sit down for a minute and listen to me. All right? I know it's a lot. I know it's a lot to take in. I know I just came to your house and literally jumped the subject right into it. Right? That's what I did. Right? Yeah, I know it's hard. It's complicated. I understand. I'm asking little of you, little from you. I just need your help with something. All right? In case he escapes it. I need to go somewhere. I need you at my house to watch out for him. I need you to be in that room with him, with Mamba. I need you to keep an eye on him. I need you to be there with him. Because he could be escaping any minute now when I'm gone. He could be gone right now, for all we know. So please, just, just bear with me and help me for once. You know I've been going through a lot. I need your help, like right now. I need your help. Jonathan's, he's doing his own thing. And I would ask for his help, and he did help me beat the crap out of him. He helped me with that part, but Jonathan's, he's spending time with Sheila right here. I, I'm giving him time, and I don't even know where Bionic is. I haven't seen him in a while. So, so, just, well, what do you say? For me, Charlie? Come on. If anything else like this happens again, I do need I do need you. Alright? Thank you for helping me out. Let's, let's go back and let's go back to the house. You want this mask? Uh, 
No. All right. You wait out here. Let me grab something else for you. All right. You gonna get something else? Yes. All right. Be right back. Okay. Killers as well. Safety's on? Yeah, the safety's on. That thing has taken lives. Python, huh? I never actually used a python. That's no, well, I'm I shouldn't get into that with you. No, I, I know you don't want to talk about it. I just figured you, you, you might need it. Oh. Thank you. Oh. Hey Joey. Eh, hey Joe. I figured you might need it in like if Mamba's loose, like you're talking about, if, if he could be, like you may need it, but because of, but please, it's just make sure that you're not killing anybody with it, please. Like, just it's like the last, last resort. I got you. I got you. I understand. I'm not gonna kill anybody with it. I'm not gonna kill anybody anymore at all. Please don't. And I try not to. And if me and you can get Daniel to switch sides with us, that would be ideal. That's my plan. Okay. Hey, I appreciate you, brother. Be okay. careful. Yeah. Guess I'll, guess I'll go home now. I'm guessing you want me to take this with me. Yeah, you can, you can keep that. Okay. I don't need it anymore. Okay. Put the gun somewhere, you know? Yeah. Is this a new one? Yeah, it's the 117. I recently bought it. Yeah. I know. You know protocol. Be careful out there. Are right, you too? Hey, stay safe. Hey, uh, there was something you, you said you had to tell me on the phone, uh, Something about you ran into somebody I knew. Who was that uh, about? I met Jonathan Madison. Did you? Mm-hmm. Jonathan, yeah. Came yeah, back he, his bat. That's what it was. Yeah. Thought it was something else, but thought it was somebody else. That guy's interesting. Yeah. I know you met Jonathan, but I I, I was thinking it was somebody else because I already knew that. I guess that was it. My memory's <laughs> memory loss. Yeah, you know what I mean? It happens, man. I'm dying at a young age. Anyways, I'll get going. Are you just gonna like, since like we got like a little ways and go back to Tennessee, so you just gonna stay at like a hotel or something? Well, I mean, I got enough time to drive home, so. Okay. Be safe, man. Hi, you too. Hi, take care. Come on.
Viper may be dead, but you'll never get away from me. Never! Never! Ugh.